A magnetron is a device used to produce the microwaves. A magnetron contains a waveguide, antenna, ceramic insulation, gasket, magnetic radi radiator, housing, cathode, anode, filter, and power terminals. When we pass current through the filament with anode conductor, it heated up to emit electrons. This phenomenon is called thermionic emission. Remember, thermionic, thermionic emission was discovered by Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was uh, famous as the legend of the incandescent bulb. These were the bulbs which would glow their filament to produce light. As he was uh, doing his experiment, he realized that one side of his bulb was fading because of the DC current was being uh, used. During filament heating to glow light, the electrons were emitted, which was having uh, the contact with the surface of the bulb. That process uh, is what has been decorrected as a Munich emission. And that is what we are going to analyze here. And also we are going to use that concept here to know how this magnetron works. Now, when a filament is heated through the cathode, through the thermionic emission, the electrons are emitted. The emitted electrons don't have anywhere to go. Now, providing the anode to the around this filament, the anode will accelerate this electron towards the towards it. The rate of acceleration is two way faster. Now we can. Uh, now the concept we analyzed earlier about the electromagnetic waves where the charged particle acceler accelerated when it interacts with the magnetic field. The last two Maxwell's equation comes to play here. To reduce their speed during acceleration, the, the magnetic field is introduced by the two bar magnets. The electrons emitted will follow a curved path as analyzed earlier. The magnetic field will decrease their motion towards the anode. And due to the interaction of moving charge and the magnetic field, an electromagnetic magnetic waves is formed due to the radiation of the charge particles in the magnetic field. Even if the radiation of the electromagnetic field are achieved, the radiation is inefficient. Now, another concept of the design of the magnetron arises that is what is called cavity magnetron. To understand how this cavity magnetron is uh, bring into this place is we can now use the simplest model we will analyze the metal bar with the cavity. The metal bar always consists of a positive and negative charges. When an electron is accelerated across the bar, it will cause the disturbances on the conductor bar. At the cavity, the electrons will easily flow on the other side of the bar, behaving like a capacitor, then back. Using an inductor at the cavity, we can easily accelerate this electron back and forth, hence the cavity behaves like an inductor. With this concept, the anode is provided with the cavity. With the cavities, a very interesting phenomenon occurs. At first, the electron's acceleration towards the cavity causes the cavity to attain opposite charges, behaving like an inductor. The scenario is repeated for all the cavities and they attain the, their alternating charges over time. 
The interaction of the accelerating electron and magnetic fields continue. The electrons being emitting, emitted will follow a curved path towards the positive cavity and the alternating charges after some moment the electron will form a rotating spoke wheel. The microwave radiation is then collected by an antenna.